Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Idle Zeros. Today, I am not on my Lord of Fear Aspen account. I am instead on one of my alts. Now, <laughs> as you may have guessed, based on the thumbnail, this is the account that I donated the Starry from when I sold my Aspen. And as you may have seen in the thumbnail, I bought a Holmes Young. So, this account will be doing Star Alchemist Holmes Young as a first Transcendence Hero. As you can see, we're getting the place ready for him when he arrives. We've got an Eos, who is a tenant, and also a tenant for regular Holmes Young. We have a Forces, who is a tenant for regular Holmes Young, not for Star Alchemist. So, we may regress him. But I think he's cool because nobody runs him, so we might keep him around for a bit. We have a second Holmes Young, who will turn into a tenant in slot one for him. We have Annabelle, who is a priest, so obviously not the best of tenants, but it's either that or a Transcendence Hero, and we don't have one of those. And we have Azrael, who is another tenant and is an assassin, <laughs> so it's another terrible tenant. Um... But it's either that or a Transcendence Hero. So that's what we're working with. A giant killer, Holmes Young. And we are, I do plan on re-rolling this to something better. Um, we want giant killer, maybe to fire would be nice. Uh, but you can see I've <laughs> he's quite tanky. Um, but yeah. Now, you might be thinking this is stupid. And I would be inclined to <laughs> agree with you. Um, everybody I told that I sold the Aspen and instead decided to build a Holmes Young. Um, confusion was quite common. <laughs> um, just general surprise. Disappointment also was quite prevalent. <laughs> um, a little bit let down that I decided to take such a... Let's just call it like it is. It's a stupid, <laughs> stupid, stupid approach to the game. Um, but we're doing it anyway. Because on YouTube, there is a noticeable lack of Giant Killer, Star Alchemist, Holmes Young content. And so I figured that I would be the one to fill the void because it's fun and it might be cool. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, wait a minute. Aspens go for far more than Holmes Youngs do in the auction house. Where's the rest of your story? It's right here. I have about, I have 13 grand, which is still quite a lot. Not enough for another A tier, unless it's like a non-trans, but I wouldn't do that. So what do I do with it? I could donate it to another account. I could donate it back to the Aspen account and get a really good B plus. But I think what the plan is, and what makes sense to me, is that Holmes Young needs a core to get the maximum amount of effectiveness out of him. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this starry and I'm going to put it towards a an upcoming event that offers a core of transcendence or not a core of origins rather um, that I can pick up for my Holmes Young. And that way we can get the most mileage out of possible. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be Easter. So that's quite soon. Um, I'm also expecting to get the Easter skin at that event, so that would be nice to grab as well. So what's the plan for this account? Um, I don't know, <laughs> to be honest. It's very poorly planned. Um, but So what I'm thinking, actually, is if we go over to the Cloud Island, which I can't click on because I'm stupid. If you go to the Cloud Island and we look at his tenants, and we look over at slot 4, we see Hyperspace Hunter Isla Mach. So what my plan might be is to go Star Alchemist Holmes Young as the main carry, Isla Mach as the second trans for survivability, and then of course we have our Annabelle, who I'll have around, that'll help with survivability. We'll keep the other Holmes Young around for crowd control, because he's great at doves. 
And then I think I'm just going to build a sustain team with Star Alchemist Holmes Young as the damage dealer. And everybody else, either as a tenant or contributing to survivability somehow. Annabelle, of course, has her dread puppets. So that works as sort of like a discount perceptual disorder um, to prevent enemies from releasing their active skills while still using their energy. So that would be quite nice to have. So that's good. Azrael is pretty much just going to be useless. Um, he'll die and come back, which will be helpful for activating Holmes Young's core when I get it. Um, so he's not completely useless. I'll probably build a carry or two so that they can also help with the death that goes around. Maybe I'll even make Azrael the second trance. Maybe that would be interesting. Probably not, though. That sounds pretty stupid. Unless I get him giant killer as well. Oh, God. How much is he going for? I need to find out. Just a little bit outside of my price range. Oh, my God. Just kidding. Holy crap. <laughs> no, okay. We need to leave the auction house before I get any bad ideas. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. I really hope I don't do that. Uh, but we'll we'll see. The, the, the plan is to do Isla Mok as second trance. And then if I do Azrael as second trans, just know that I've lost it more than I already have because I ditched my Aspen for this dumpster fire of an account, which, by the way, looks pretty terrible. This Holmes Young used to be a Sherlock who's a tenant. You can see his remnants over here. Um, but as we approach 5 million crystals of transcendence, we, of course, need to start building Star Alchemist tenants instead. So that's the current plan. Um, it is looking like Easter is going to be the event that I go in on and spend my starry. I think the max amount of starry you can spend on an event is 9,500, which leaves me a bit of wiggle room here. And from there, we'll just see what happens. I need to read Lord of Death Azrael's skills because this is... I, I really hope it doesn't sound strong because that would <laughs> this would just be the dumbest account <laughs> if my first two trances were Star Alchemist, Holmes Young, and Lord of Death, Azrael. I would be yelled at and berated by everybody I talk to on Idle Heroes Discord channels. <laughs> but I would be unique as well. I would be the Star Alchemist, Holmes Young, and Azrael guy. Uh, so anyway, that's just a little update. Um, that's what you can expect to see out of this account. Um, this account is also going to be probably free to play with the exception of probably monthly cards. Um, yeah, yeah, that's a, that's about it. We'll do a little, little battle real quick just to show you the dove power. Well, it's not going to work very well against this one because it's a light team and light has a ton of control immunity. So we'll go through anyway and Another thing you'll find funny is that Tix is probably going to out-damage our giant killer, Holmes Young. But that's okay, because this is a sustained team. We don't need <laughs> burst damage. So even though we will be losing damage on the front end, we will gain it on the back end. Because in all of my infinite wisdom, I thought, <laughs> I thought a good artifact to pick up would be Antler's Cane. <laughs> so even though I'm super early game and I hardly have any Demon Bells, in fact, I don't think I have any Demon Bells. <laughs> I got a, I have a splendid Antler's Cane ready to go. So that will be fun. Here we go. We have a forest team. Hopefully we can get a lot of doves here because who doesn't like looking at doves? Here comes an active skill after the other team attacks, anyway. I've been quite impressed with Annabelle. Her death passive is quite nice. But here we go. Four. Beautiful. Maybe we'll clean up the other two with the other homes. We did. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad I caught that on film. Because if not, this would have just looked even worse than it already does. Um, I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> I'm just a little disappointed in myself um, with what I decided to do. But the bright side is I'm having a lot of fun, actually, 
it's it's been a little bit stressful trying to be the number one on the server. And let's see. Okay, there we go. Not too terrible. We have Holmes Young as number one, which he should be, to be honest, since he's a giant killer. And then we actually have Forces at number two. That's probably to do with the Rogan. Uh, because the Rogan offers his team buffs, and every time Forces cancels a buff, he does some damage. So Forces is actually pretty cool. I think... <laughs> I apologize in advance, but I think Tix is going to be the one that I regress instead of Forces. And then with the regression food, I will build up Azrael and his stone. And then... Start scavenging Isla Mock copies, unless I decide that Azrael is the way, is the way to go, which would be really stupid. And I really hope I decide not to do that, but I might. This is an absurd enough account already. Um, I don't have any sublimation. I don't think I have some sublimation. <laughs> so we've got one fourth of a branch. Um. I plan to increase that. I want at least Holmes is active and second passive, fully sublimed. So we'll focus on doing that. I'll pick up some sublimation during Easter, almost definitely, and some other times around then. So that'll be cool. Um, aside from that, that's about it. Um, I really hope that you're not too disappointed. <laughs> or confused or upset uh, with what I've decided to do here. But I think it'll be fun. And I had a ton of fun making the thumbnail for this video as well. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, I'm having fun with this account. And I have several others, not nearly as fun as this one though. And then when monthly's reset, we'll re-roll this. I didn't get a good roll out of all the 20 hammers that I spent already. And so with that, uh, have a good one. Thank you for watching.